when we add water to the soil, it gets absorbed. This is what we have learnt in detail in the previous video. However, absorption of water is different in different types of soils. Now tell me one thing, have you ever noticed that water when added to soil on the ground disappears immediately? Yes, it does. And we know it's due to the absorption of water by the soil. But what happens when there is excess of water added to the soil? Is it still absorbed? Well, yes it is. Imagine it rains heavily. After it stops raining, all the water on the ground disappears. We know that it's absorbed by the soil. But so much water? How is it even possible? It is possible because water seeps into the deeper layers. This is called the percolation of water in the ground. That means whenever water is poured on the surface of the ground, it percolates and reaches the lower layers. This percolation activity helps refill the underground water reservoirs. Is percolation same in all types of soil? Of course not. Then how do we get to know how much water has percolated in a particular type of soil? To understand this, let's take a long pipe and insert it a bit deep into the ground. If water is added to the soil through this pipe, then it gradually percolates. Now all we need to do is calculate the rate of percolation based on how much water was added and how much time did the water take to percolate completely. So let us say we added 200 milliliters of water and it took almost 40 minutes for all that water to percolate. But wait, how do we come to know that water has percolated? It's simple. When all the water disappears, then we know that the water has completely percolated. So now, if 200 milliliters of water has taken 40 minutes to percolate, then the rate of percolation can be calculated as the amount of water added divided by the time taken by percolation. This gives us 200 over 40, which is 5. So the rate of percolation is 5 milliliters per minute. This is how we calculate the percolation rate of water in the given water sample. Next, let's take a look at the last property that is moisture content in the soil.